Hi everyone, uh, welcome to part five of this uh, series of videos on building our GT40 replica chassis from the um, tube kit, the laser cut tube kit that we do, which you can find on our website. Um, in this video I'm going to do the dash frame which holds the um, steering column etc. Um, and to start with we need this tube T3005 and these two 20 by 20 tubes which are T3006 and all we have to do is take the pegs on the small tubes slot them into the holes on the 25 by 25 tube in the two places that are marked out now remember this is where you set whether this is left or right hand drive. In this case I'll be making it right hand drive. Left hand drive, simply turn that tube over and put these tubes in this side. So we'll stick them in and tack them up. Like so. Right, now for the rest of the dash frame. Right, so for the rest of the dash frame, we need the rest of the T3 labelled tubes. T3003, this one, the long one. Two tubes that go at the side of it, which are T3001. T3004. There's two of those. And then finally the T3005 tubes that we just tacked uh, the T3006 tubes to. So I like to use the chassis for this bit because I know it's flat and I know it's true. And it makes an easy, simple jig. So all we've got to do, first of all, tack these two tubes together at 90 degrees. Then the same on the other end. And these tubes lay in like so.
finally, the last part to do is to put C3005 in like so. Now the thing here, here, we just need to make this sure this is parallel with this. So we'll just take some measurements and check that. Okay, so having checked that, that's 247 millimetres uh, for reference. Tack that tube in. So there we go, that's the dash frame completed for this part of the chassis. And we'll come back to that later when we put it on uh, top of the uh, main top rails of the cockpit. And we'll add a couple of brackets to it um, that will hold the uh, windscreen wiper motor and the bearing on the front of the um, steering column. But for now that's it, and we'll continue in the next video do a bit more of the chassis and start putting some of these sub-assemblies together. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it or hope you get something out of it. Um, like and subscribe so that you get notifications of future videos. And thanks for watching, catch you later.